your Discord check-ins look like this? Do they work like this? That is one big pile of shit. How would you like to make it work like this? With a little bit of work, you guys can do these exact same thing. I'm gonna show you how. Just mix it up. One of the first things you're going to do when you download the program is you're going to have to come into the settings menu, which is on the main menu. All you do is you click the little cogwheel up in the top right. Go here and go to overlays. This is where you're going to create a new overlay that you're going to put into OBS or Streamlabs or whatever streaming software that you use. Then from here, once you have your overlay, you go back and then you can go straight over here on the left side to Twitch channel points. Once you set up the program, it'll have all the things you need for Twitch. So if you go into create a new command or create a new channel point, in that new channel point, what you're gonna do is you'll be making new check-in. There it is, Jesus. So once you get into the new window, all you're gonna have to do is, this is where it's gonna be more directed towards you specifically. You'll wanna come into the actions drop-down menu and create what's known as a conditional. You'll add that to it. Now the first value is going to be, so what you wanna do is you're going to create a new conditional. And in that new conditional, you're gonna just type dollar sign message. That's going to be what one of the special identifiers is. There's a big giant list of what special identifiers is and an explanation for what they are on the website. But all you have to do is just click the special identifier tab and it'll bring you to it. For this one, you're just gonna type message. That is going to be what the person puts in the message on Twitch. And you're not gonna have the equal sign. You'll make sure you set it to contains. And then for this one, we'll set it to one. So now basically all this is saying is if this message contains this, then do this. This is where you can customize it to a very big degree. And add an action, make the action be sound, add it. Go into your computer, pull up any sound that you can think of. The Metal Gear Solid Alert. Set it to the overlay. You're gonna change the audio output device to what you just set up as the browser source on your streaming software. OBS, Streamlabs. But that's the first step you wanna do. From there, you want to create another action. That next action is going to be, say if you wanna have a little GIF, a little GIF or something play when somebody redeems this check-in. So you can even use like an image or something. So we'll just use this Batman image. We'll set it for two second duration. So it'll stay on the screen for two seconds. Over here, you can set where on the screen you want it to play. And then after that, we'll add another thing. Just put a simple chat message. Inside the chat message, you can put something like it'll be dollar sign user display name as initiated the uh, Donald Duck Discord check in. Whatever you want it to be. And then the next thing that you can do, which for me, is one of the biggest and most incredible time savers I've ever come across on any program. If you go into here and you create something in the file read and write, inside the file read and write, you're going to select append to file. Append to file essentially means add to file. So all you would do is you just come into your come into here and you'll be creating a new file, a new file for that specific Discord check-in. <laughs> You create a new text document, call it the Donald Duck Discord check-in. Select it. It'll say, would you like to replace this with the file that they're talking about? You say yes. 
And inside that, you will put text to save at dollar sign user display name. What that's going to do is it's going to add someone's name. Whoever, whoever initiated the check-in will then take that name and save it into a file, which you can then check after your stream so that you can just copy and paste your appreciations into the Discord, which saves me an enormous amount of time. And then the last one that I kind of feel is optional, but it prevents it from being in just an absolute overload of Discord check-ins is the wait command. Just put two or three second wait on it. If like the video that you're playing or if there's a GIF that plays for the Discord, then set it for the length of the GIF. If there's a little sound effect, set it for the length of the sound effect. Just to allow the entirety of the check-in to go through before it starts another one. So then all you have to do from here, you would do that inside of this one. And just set that to three. So now essentially seems like a lot of work, but that's the first one done. So if you save that now, so then all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your channel points on Twitch and edit the new check-in. Inside this new check-in, you're gonna select this box right here. It makes the viewer enter a text of some sort. So then all you have to do is say, Donald Duck Discord check-in. After this, we'll make two Daffy Duck Discord check-in. Three Daisy Duck. I don't know why I'm going with ducks, but we're going with ducks today. Four can be, I don't know, Huey Duck. And then all that's doing is when somebody then hits that channel point inside the stream, so then what that's going to pull up is then going to pull up. As soon as you hit that new check-in, it'll ask you. Press one for Daisy Duck, two for Daffy Duck. So if you just press the one button now. Fun fact, I do not know how long that song is. So that might go on for a while. A few moments later. All right, so basically what you want to do is come back into your sound. I'm going to pick something simple. Just pick uh, Discord sound. So after you've created all of this, you can then save that. And then when you pull up your, your actual Twitch stream, you'll just go to the new check-in and say you hit number one. It'll just play a sound, a thing, a graphic, whatever you choose. And then if you go to the file that you created, every time that I use that check-in, you can see it adds my name to the folder. So if I was to do it again, it'll just keep adding the name to it. So every time somebody comes in and they hit that check-in number, it'll add their name to that text file. So then all you have to do, because that first one seems complicated, but it's not, because once you make that one check-in, all you have to do from there, you can go right back into new check-in. So you can literally just name this one, Donald Duck Discord. Close this, copy it. Open this one up. Daffy Duck Discord. Only thing you have to change in this one is set the value to two. Then come through here and just change all the sounds over. So change it from, you can name it the, the game show buzzer for it. Then all you'd have to do is come over here to the file, read and write, browse, new text document, Daffy Duck. Discord. While we're here, Daisy Duck Discord. While we're here, Huey Duck Discord. 
But for this one, I'm gonna be using the Daffy Duck one. Leave the same weight, change the check-in to Daffy Duck Discord check-in sound. So now that one will be done as well. Just to make sure, go back into it. And then the last thing you have to do before you go and try it out is make sure you click save and you just have to come in, click copy, create a whole nother one. So now we have the Daff Donald Duck, Daffy Duck, and Daisy Duck that we're doing now. So you browse, you select any picture you want. We'll just use some random, we'll use that. We'll change the chat message to Daisy Duck, check in. I'll read and write, change that to the Daisy Duck Discord check-in. Then all we'd have to do, close this, copy. Change this to Huey Duck Discord. Discord. Since that's how we've done them all. First, you need to go back to the Daisy Duck one and change the number to three. Go back to Huey Duck, change this one to four. Change the sound, make it, um, a still fart, whatever. Change the image to, then you can just change the image to whatever you want. Just do this, whatever. Random picture, you can find when you use whatever picture you want, obviously. Then go to the file, read and write, back to the disco check-in folder, and select Huey. So now what we've just done, we've just created four separate check-ins in one new check-in. So all you have to do is save this, you pull up the new check-in, and you're gonna type one, two, three, four. So now it's doing the Donald Duck check-in, the Daffy Duck check-in, Daisy Duck, and Huey Duck, all in one shot. Nailed it. So then all you'd have to do from there, you can go back into your folder. All you'd have to do is just pull up all the different text files after the stream. And if you look, this one is the Huey Duck. It's the name. Donald Duck has all the names. Da Daisy Duck, name. Then you just copy and paste it into Discord. It's just that easy. This is by far my first video when it comes to doing like advanced things on Mix It Up. I'm still learning how to do these videos to make them more appealing to people. But I think the next one I wanna do is I'm gonna to try to show you guys how I went from making my alerts from very, very simple to Now I'm That's all I got for now. If you guys want to know more, feel free to drop it in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this video, how I can improve, how I can tailor a video more to what you need. Um, like I said, I'm very new at making these videos, but if you guys show the love, I promise I'll be happy to make tutorials on any aspect of it. I've gotten pretty good with, with Mix It Up, still learning, but if I can help shorten your journey and learning it too, then that would be my pleasure. But yeah, I stream Every day of the week, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern and 10 p.m. till around 12 or 1. And you're more than welcome to jump in and ask me any questions and I'll do my best to answer it live on stream if I can. Feel free to check me out on Twitch, Risen Nephilim, and hopefully I'll see you guys around.